It's Shabbat 65B3-4. That's What's part that? of the Tanakh. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Let me look. Let me look on the screen and see what we're talking. No, look it up. That's no, I never heard. I've never heard of Shabbat. Did, what what book chat? What book chat? You know, Shabbat means rest. What book is this in the Bible? Uh, it is. It is. Uh, the day is uh, the uh, the um, the, uh, the Shabbat. <laughs> Don't stutter. It's, it's a Sabbath. That's not in the Bible. No, it's not in the Christian Bible. It's, in it's the, not in the. Not. Okay, where is it? When I'm saying Bible, just just so we just so we could be clear, show me where in the Torah or Genesis. Tanakh. When I say Bible, I I when I say Bible, that could be Genesis. That's the Bible. It could be Revelation. That's the Bible. The Apocrypha. Yeah, that's the Bible. Uh, okay, so it's in. Um, it's supposed to be in Genesis one five. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? Uh, okay, so it's in. Um, it's supposed to be in Genesis one five. But you're gonna Genesis. Christian Bible, wait, wait. Not the Hebrew Bible. This, this is not in the in the Hebrew Bible. Okay, this, so let's pull up Genesis. Genesis, Genesis one. This y'all heard him say Genesis one five. Genesis one five says, "And God called the light day, and the darkness He called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day." What the fuck we talking about right now? No, you, you. So no. No, you you are how can you I say Genesis one five. Okay, let me let me let me let me uh, put, uh, let me put it on. You said Fool this man. So uh on um, peace to you, brother captain. So hey, let peace me just, to you too, baby. Peace to you, thank you ready. so much. So let's just start this. You know, uh Captain, you know, I respect you and I respect the uh uh, Commanding General Yahana, uh, I respect ISUPK, and of all the Hebrew groups, um, I think I respect you, the uh, your group, the most. But I also res uh, respect uh, Brother Daniela. I respect uh, the Divine Prospect. I respect um, Hashar. I respect um, a lot of you. Have got to know you over the years, right? Um, the questions I want to ask you today is basically. Do the Israelites of ISUPK believe in the in the Torah and the Tanakh, or frankly, do you just believe in the Bible? So we believe in the, so uh, we, we so we believe in the whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Okay, are there any contradictions in that Bible between the uh, from Genesis to Revelations? No. No. All right. <laughs> is okay. So wonderful. So is the um, is, is so there are no contradictions. But the reason why I'm doing this, Captain, is because we know. And let's just set aside. But I'm gonna mention it. Abba Bibbins joined FS Cherry's church. FS Cherry. All he did was basically say that our people are, are uh, Hebrews. Right. Um, Abba Bibbins joined that uh, church in Philadelphia and he left and he joined the commandment keepers. And I believe he converted to become a Hebrew we can, uh, or an Israelite. And we could talk about that later. That's not the main issue. And then after that, he left and he created the Messianic uh, organization. I think he created maybe the Tanakh school. Uh, and then, but he was Messianic. Right. And then mm -hmm. that became one West, ultimately, um, and then ISUPK. The problem right. is with that. Thank you. So the problem is with that is that now ISUPK, according to you, is the only school that people should follow. But we have a whole bunch of divisions like the Roman Catholic Church. Because of that, uh, because. <laughs> Um, because not ISUPK, but because One West couldn't control their ch children, and then there's a bunch of infighting. So now we have uh, lots of groups of people that are basically small courts, court um, cults, small groups, and it's getting a little out of hand, right? And um, so we respect you, but we're hearing a lot of kooky stuff on. And so I, um, it gives me a chance to just deal with 
some of the things that I find up um, um, problematic between the teachings. Is, is that okay? So yeah, I'm going to no, share my screen no. and I'll ask you a question. So let me just share my screen. Okay. I'm going to go through this real quick because you got to okay. go and I understand. And no I don't problem. want to you. But um, I was surprised when you said when you said that there are no contradictions between Genesis, between Genesis and uh, Revelation. So I was uh, I was surprised at that. So let me just share my screen for a second. Now you got to remember, I'm a, a, a researcher. No sweat. Hey, while you getting it, while you sharing your screen, if I could, I got a 25% sale going right now on Tizaryak and Lily's Creations. 25% off of all products. I'm in the lab right now. That's what y'all see. All of these products right here, I got to ship out. So everything y'all see right there, I got to ship out. That's why I don't have a lot of time. I don't know if they, did they see that? Did they see that? All oh, yeah. this whole, that whole tray got to go out. So that's why I don't have a lot of time, but um, I'm ready with whatever you got. Okay, good, right. Is Jesus Christ, Yeshua, is Jesus Christ God, the Son of God, the Messiah, or a prophet? What is he? Well, he's not God. He's the Son of God. Um, he is the Messiah or the Mashiach or an anointed. He's one of them. Um, a prophet, he would fit that class too, but he's not God. Okay. So he's not God. All right. So um, we're going to just check to see if there's a contradiction. Now, okay. one of the most important things is um, Isaiah 2. We could start with four. Uh, he is the Jesus Christ is Yeshua Emmanuel. He's the, um, the, the Messiah. Is that true? Yeah. Wonderful. So Isaiah, Isaiah 2, 4 says, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Right? So that's in the King James Version of Isaiah. Does that, that sound familiar? Yeah, that sounds perfect. Yeah. That sounds perfect, right? Okay, so then... Um, when the Messiah came, Yeshua, did that happen? No. That didn't happen. Okay. No. Not not when Messiah, not when Christ came. No, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. So none of this happened. So the Hebrews or the Israelites, they they say that this is the only sign to know that the Messiah comes. What did Israelites Messiah, say that? Huh? What did Israelites say that that's the only sign? Well, let's say if I don't say the only sign is that a is that the sign that they um that the Messiah comes? No, that's not a sign of the Messiah coming. No. Okay. That's the, that's the aftermath of the uh, Messiah coming, and this is why when we was on the phone, Reggie, I said don't fuck with me with the Bible. Okay. Like like that part happens after he destroys the nation. So when you read. Isaiah, like you starting at Isaiah 2 and 4. Mm -hmm. You really got to start at Isaiah 2 and 2. It says, it shall come to pass in the last days. We are not in, the, we are not at, we're not at that. When Christ was here, that was not the last days. So this is a future prophecy that does involve Christ, but it didn't happen. It wasn't supposed to happen during that time. It tells you specifically in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be exalted in the top of the mountains. Um, it shall be exalted above hills and all nations shall flow unto it. So that prophecy just hasn't happened yet. So that, okay, that's not so a sign. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. But the Israelites, when when someone claimed that, that was, they were the Messiah, when someone claimed that they was Messiah, were the Israelites expecting this to happen? Israelites were suspecting every prophecy to happen at some point in time. Correct. So, do you do you agree or don't agree that the uh, that the 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 Hebrews, the Israelites, some mm -hmm. of them, they don't reject, they don't accept the, um, uh, Jesus Christ because this didn't happen. Do you, you can disagree or disagree. I wouldn't say so. 
you have Israelites like to knock only Israelites or old, what you would call Old Testament Israelites yes. that don't um uh, don't believe that. Some say they don't believe Christ existed. Some say they believe he existed, but he wasn't the Messiah. But I've never seen them use this scripture to say that. But okay. they might. Okay, so they might say, to be fair to them, they might use. I wouldn't say they use this scripture, but they would use something like this to say. Um, this they might say the same thing that you're saying. This should happen. Okay, that's they might use I, that. They might use that same logic. But when you go to verse two, it says in the last days, which they will admit that at that time it wasn't the last days. Okay, so um, now in Matthew ten, of course you read Matthew ten, right? Well, so, we're gonna go there. Uh huh. Huh? No, so I'm gonna go there Matthew, with you. Matthew ten and what? Matthew ten thirty three. Okay. Thirty three on. So okay. it's so up on the screen, Captain. So the okay, no, I got it here too. That's good. I see it. So the Christians say, but whoever shall deny me, that's Jesus Christ talking, Yeshua, mm -hmm. before men, him, I also deny before my father which is in heaven. Right. So if you deny me before before men, him, I also deny before my father which is in heaven. Think not that I had, I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Right. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father. Right. And the daughter against his mother and a daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. Right. And a man's foe shall be they of, of his, own, his household. own household. Right. And that loveth fathers or mothers more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. So the, the Christian Yeshua, according to Matthew, he comes and he doesn't come to bring peace on this earth. He comes to bring a sword. Right. That, right. You don't right. see a problem with that. Now, no. ISUPK, the, 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 you know, for now, the only sword that y'all have brought was uh, the rhetoric against uh, 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 um, against Africa. Right. Outside of that, for the most part, except for bringing your doctrine, uh, you really haven't bought a sword. But the problem with the reason why I'm saying this is because uh, some messianic Hebrews uh, believe this or possibly believe this, and this will become a problem, right? Because their Messiah comes to bring a sword, right? Well, so now, when you when you talk about the sword, like if you wanted a Bible class, Reggie, you should have just came to 2279 Third Avenue, man. I'd have taught you all this shit, man. Yeah. Um, so we say sword is subjective, meaning like you could be talking about a physical sword like this, or like we just read in Isaiah when it says every mountain and every hill. Mountain and hill is not a literal mountain. It's talking about governments in the Bible. So the word sword in this chapter is not talking about, it's twofold. So it's talking about a literal sword, but it's also talking about what he came to teach. And you know that when you read the next verses. What I say, Christians don't teach this because they teach Christ is all love. So when you read this verse and it says, think not that I come to send peace on earth, I came not to send peace, but a sword, just keep reading. It says, for I came to set man at variance. With that sword or with his words is how he sets a man at variance. Because everybody, so imagine you grew up in whatever belief system you believed in, and then you believe in the word of God and you start serving that God. Your family may reject it, like my family did. My family was comfortable celebrating Christmas. I find the truth and we're not supposed to celebrate Christmas. Now we're at variance. That's that swore because a swore cuts. You know, how we always see he'll hear us say, I cut you. We're not literally cutting you with a knife, but we are cutting you with the word. And so when Christ says, um, he that loveth father more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth not his son nor daughter is not worthy of me. In verse 38, and he that taketh not his cross. So we take it literal like you are taking it then I should have a literal wooden cross on my shoulder. And I should be carrying it. We're going to be literal. But it's not literal. It's a metaphor of the burden of carrying that cross back then. So he's just relating weapons to words. 
Okay. So, so, so when he says 36, and a man's foe shall be they of his own household. Right. And that's, so, so that's what I was that explaining. Right. So, that, so I used myself as the example. When I came into the truth, mm -hmm. my family didn't accept it. Because they they didn't accept it at first because their way of life was getting changed. So now we love shrimp. When I was in the world, I loved that shrimp. I gave the shrimp up because I found out shrimp is unlawful. My family, they still eat the shrimp. When matter of fact, when I go around when I when I first came into the truth and I used to go around my family, my sister used to say, Don't bring up the Bible around Tyree. That's my slave name. Don't bring up the Bible around him because when you bring up the Bible, you know, we're going to get into it because that's the variance. Because now once we start talking about that Bible, you got to tell the truth of the Bible. You can't lie on the Bible. And so that's the variance because we're comfortable believing the lie. But when Christ comes, which brings the truth, which sets you free, that makes people uncomfortable. Wonderful. So um, when I say wonderful, I don't mean that I am agreeing with you. I mean, um, it's wonderful that you said that, right? <laughs> so so now we as a people or it is in a divided household based on a belief. Now, I have to ask you this question. I just have to ask you a question. Okay, so you believe in, uh, do you believe in the Tanakh and Torah? Yes. You have read the Tanakh and Torah. Yes. Yes. Yes, I say yeah. Khan. Khan. So you've uh, you've read it in full. Khan. Yeah. Khan. Wonderful. Okay. So um, Yeshua, he believed in the Torah completely, right? Yes. Matter of fact, the Torah, is, the Torah was the only the Torah was the only thing there during Christ's time. There was no New Testament. The Torah and Tanakh was all that was there. Right. So he believed that fully. Right. Right. Without any. Did he make any changes? No. He didn't make any changes to it. Okay. What changes did he make? Well, we get, we're going to get into that. So. So because I'm just trying to check what you're leading us into. Right. Because, uh, well, I'm not leading anything right now. You leading. Well, try you trying to lead. I'm just correcting the shit you're saying. OK, so he believed in the uh, he believed in the Torah. <laughs> He um, actually uh, he actually believed uh, um, that he had to do a mikvah. You know what a mikvah is, right? Well, no, you can tell me though. Mikvah is uh, it's Hebrew. It's Israelite. It's a bath. So he had to do the purification bath. You talking right? about the baptism? No, I'm talking in Hebrew. You talking Christian talk? I'm talking Hebrew talk. But you gotta tell me what. Hey, Sonetta, you jumped there. Uh oh, I'm just telling you right now. Just tell me what you tell me what you talk about, and then show me that Christ did. I'm going to tell you. So, uh, uh, Israelite at the time of Christ, including Christ, he had to accept the Torah fully, the uh, the Tanakh. He had to do a uh, mitzvah. These are the people before Christ. But just show me what that is. Well, show me what that is, and show me where Christ did it. That's what I'm asking you. It's a it's a purification bath. All Israelites did it. Show me where Christ did it. What this mitzvah you saying? Show yeah, me. The I'm, I'm going to I'm going to show you in a second. I'm just okay, adding, no the third thing that uh, Hebrew man had to do was he had to do the uh, uh, Harafat down Brit, which is the circumcision. Right. So you had to be circumcised. You had to believe the Torah and the Tanakh. Right. And you and you had to do mixed. Vibe. OK, so let's just do this. OK. Uh -oh. Well, you got to. You got to show me this mitzvah, the circumcision. Yes, I know that part. You got to show me this mitzvah you're talking about, though. That's okay. what I'm asking. So I have it on my screen right now. A mitzvah, a mitzvah, or mitzvah, right? A collection is a bath used for the purpose of ritual immersion in Judaism to achieve ritual purity. Most forms of ritual purity can be purified through immersion in any natural collection of water. However, some impurities such as zaz require living water, such as springs or groundwater wells. Living wells had the uh, for for the advantage of being able to purify even while flowing. So, uh, mixva is if you look it up, if you do some homework, mixva. All Negative. 
Hey, huh? hey, nigga, nigga. I say nigga and all due with all due respect. You call it me? Yeah, I'm talking to you, Reggie. I said with all due respect. Nigga so soon? I said with all due respect. Nigga, this some Jewish shit you talking about right here. Show me where Christ did this. Oh, oh, so when Christ does it, when Christ does it, you call you call it a baptism. But it can't no. be a baptism. You said, here's what you said. You said Christ did a mikvah. I'm saying it yeah. how you said it now. I said, are you talking about when he got baptized? You said, no, that's the New Testament. That's what you said. Right. And so I said, well, I said, well, show me where he got this mikvah. Because this not when I look it up, there's no biblical thing where it's a requirement. It's something where you cleanse yourself. Like we have all type of clean laws. If a, if you have sex with uh, your woman or your uh, husband, you clean yourself. If you have an issue, you clean yourself. So we have cleansing laws okay. of all kinds of water. But when okay. you're talking about that, I'm sorry. No, okay, okay. I understand what you're saying, but- What I'm asking for is book, chapter, verse of what you're talking about, not a Jewish or so-called Jews custom. Well, you but 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 Christ, you saying that Christ? Okay, so let's let's say this, Captain. For example, for example, yeah. I'll give you an example. When you say when you say Christ was circumcised, yes, that's actually in the text that you get circumcised on the eighth day. When you saying this mikvah, where you got to have this purification, you have to show book, chapter, and verse where you get this purification. Okay, so one 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 second while I look this up, right? So. So what was John the Baptist doing? John the Baptist was doing a token of physical water baptism until Yahweh came to give the real baptism, which was spiritual. That's what John was doing. That's why John himself, when Christ came, when John saw Christ, John said, I must decrease so he can increase. He said, I indeed baptize you with water. But Christ shall baptize you with fire, meaning the words. Even Ephesians 5 and 26 says this. Ephesians 5 and 26 says that he might sanctify and cleanse it. So now we're talking about cleaning something. With the washing of the water by the word. It's the word that cleanses you. If you take a homosexual and dip him in that baptism water in the church, you bring him up, he's just a wet homosexual. The only thing that's going to cleanse him is when you show him in the Bible that God doesn't like homosexuality. You take a man that likes to sleep with whores, you show him in the Bible, and he cleanses himself. That's how we get clean, which goes right back to the scripture that you brought in Matthew's 10th chapter. That's sword, because now we get cut spiritually. The things we like to worship, we stop. So you still haven't shown me this mikvah that Christ did it. I'm waiting. Okay. So when um, uh, okay, so I can. Uh, so you read uh, you read Mac, um, baptism of Jesus Matthew three thirteen right three three thirteen yeah. to seventeen. Yeah. That's what you mm -hmm. read. God. Okay. And I read cool. Ephesians, but I also read Ephesians five and twenty six with the washing of the water by the word. Okay. So. Um, so when you read that, was that already a he was that already an expected Hebrew custom? The, yes, the, the that, that was what water. you talk about. You talk about with physical water or spiritual water? Uh, with physical water. No, not okay. not the way not in the fashion that John was doing it, okay. because, again, John was preparing the way for Christ. So what he was doing was a token. You know, you cleanse yourself. It was symbolic. That's why when you read it, that's why, you know, after that was over and that's how, you know, it never even cleaned you. So like when you go to, so for example, that physical water don't do shit. So if I go to Acts 19, it says when it came to pass that while Paulus was at Corinth, Paul having passed through the other coast to Ephesians and finding certain disciples, he said unto them, have you received the Holy Spirit since you believe? And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Spirit. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, which is Mashiach Yahweh. And when they heard it, 
Then they was baptized according to Christ, which is teaching. And then they received the Holy Spirit. Physical water does nothing for us. That's not how we get clean. Okay, so 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 we're gonna go on real quick because I don't have a lot of time to uh to uh to do you right. lovely, right? right so right, here's right. the question. So um Jesus Christ was sinless, right? Yeah. Yeah, Peter says Peter two twenty two says he committed no sin, nor was he in deceit found in his mouth. Right. Yeah. Corinthians says 521 says Hebrew for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things right. as we are uh, yet without sin. Hebrews 415 right. for right. we do not have a high priest who cannot. OK, so sorry. Uh, Luke 135, the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come to you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And for that reason, the Holy Child shall be called the Son of God, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then John 3, 5, you know that he appeared in order to take away sin. He said, blah, blah, him. blah. You funny. You and funny. Him, no, because I'm I, I'm not reading all the verses. So dot, dot, dot. Uh, dot, dot, dot. So I know this is, uh, I, I apologize. I know this is holy to you. And uh, No, no, no. I don't care. Listen, I don't but care what you do. So now I, John I 3, 5. I, I meant nigga as a term of endearment, Reggie, not in a derogatory oh, okay, sense. Okay, no problem. So yeah. um, blah, 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 man, dot, 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 because I'm speeding through. So John 3.15 says, you know that he appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there's no sin. So why the hell was Yahweh Yah being baptized anyway, since he's he's sinless? Christ? Yeah, Christ is sinless, right. Yeah, Without so why is he being baptized? Why does he need John to baptize him? Oh, let's go back to Matthew, the third chapter, where he was at. Yeah, go that's ahead. that's how you, that's how you know he was sinless. He did everything right. So now, is in verse fourteen it says, "But John forbade him, saying, I need to have you baptized of thee, and comest thou to me?'" And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, "Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness." So he needed that to happen because that's almost like imagine running a race, and one cat is carrying a baton, and so now it's being passed to the other. So all that is, is the pass of power. So it's almost like John the Baptist is, would be the vice president. Christ is the president. Here come the president, come to take power. That's all that is. He didn't sin. That's why John said, I have need to be baptized of thee. John okay. didn't want to do it. We'll so I, I don't know what you're talking we'll if, if, I, if, I could just, if I could just read and read another scripture, you're doing a horrible job, brother. No, no, I'm no. doing a lovely job. Go ahead. You can read the other scripture. No, no, no. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, go ahead. because you, you miss so the point that you're missing is that um, Hebrew people call themselves Israelites or Hebrews of that faith have been doing this for a thousand years. So John the doing Baptist what? Uh, was performing mixed bar, what you call baptism. You're, you're talking about before John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before John, John I'm asking you to show so, so show it. Show, show it in the Bible. Enough, that they would, show you know, show that they would. You don't believe in the Hebrew shit. You don't believe in the whoa, Hebrew. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anything in the Torah or Tanakh, I believe. Oh, so man. all you got to do is show it. Right? So, so like, if I say uh, clean, if you just look up clean, you can find this all throughout Leviticus where you have to clean yourself. If you were a dead body, if you're around a dead body, you got to clean in three days because it's about a quarantine. So, so but what you're talking about, this ritual you're talking about, just show it to me, book, chapter, verse. Uh, That's all I'm asking. Uh, in, the, in the Tanakh? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Pull it up. While I'm pulling that up, right, let's go to mm -hmm. another part while I'm pulling it up. Because right. guess what? I, I do think it's your job to pull it up. I am saying that mikvah is a no. Ritual. It's not my it's not my job to pull it up. You're no, telling no. me that you're telling me that they did it. I'm saying they did it. You brought this up. Even yeah, I when I look it up, when when I look it up on the in the Britannica, it doesn't give book chapter and verse. It does not. It just says it was in Judaism, which lets you know this is not biblical. A pool of and a pool of water in which one yeah. bathes for the restoration of ritual purity. The Mishnah describes an elaborate detail the requirement for ritually proper water and the quantity of water required for ritual cleansing. 
So you would have to show where they did this in the Tanakh or Torah. All, All right, of our so instructions. I'm pulling it up right now. So oh, okay, no sweat. I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm pulling up right now. So Mick now, Bob, as I said, we do have clean laws. Okay, like where you Mick have Bob. to walk. Mm -hmm. All right, Leviticus eleven thirty six. However, a spring or cistern in in which water is collected shall be pure. Or whoever you said Leviticus eleven and thirty six. Yeah, such a carcass it shall be impure. Jeremiah seventeen thirteen. Wait, 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 wait. Let's walk this. So Leviticus eleven and thirty six says, nevertheless, a fountain or a pit wherein there is plenty of water shall be clean, but that which touches their carcass shall be unclean. This is not talking about the ritual you talking about. You are unqualified. No, so no, I am, uh, no, 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 let me, no, let me, no, let me, no, no. Let me no, finish. Let's, let's just finish. Let's just finish. No, right? no, 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 because you want to act like you did something. No, I Hold did. The, no, you didn't. The whole Leviticus chapter is talking about um, the law of clean and unclean animals. And so when you're around this unclean animal or for carcass, is in that that's why when you read it says nevertheless a fountain or pit wherein there is plenty of water shall be clean but that which touches the carcass shall be unclean so if that carcass if that dead animal touched that water that water is now unclean it's not even talking about you purifying yourself it's talking about if a carcass is in the water it's unclean okay. what are you talking about so in shabbat in Shabbat 65B34, because I didn't know, I should have known that I had to pull it up, right? It and where, said, where do you say? In Shabbat 65B3-4, that's What's part that? of the Tanakh. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, let me look, let me look on the screen and see know, what you're talking about. You don't have to look it up. That's no, I've never heard, I've never heard of Shabbat. Did, what, what, book of chap, Shabbat? what book chap? You know, Shabbat means rest. What book is this in the Bible? Uh, it is, it is, uh, the day is, uh, the, the, uh, um, the, uh, the Shabbat. Uh, that, 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 that. Don't stutter. It's, it's a Sabbath. That's not in the Bible. No, it's not in the Christian Bible. It's, in it's the, not in the, the okay, where is it? When I'm saying Bible, just, just so we, just so we could be clear. Show me where in the Torah or Genesis. Tanakh. When I say Bible, I, I when I say Bible, that could be Genesis. That's the Bible. It could be Revelation. That's the Bible. The Apocrypha. Yeah, that's the Bible. Oh, okay, so it's in. Um, it's supposed to be in Genesis one five. But you're going to the Christian Bible. Wait, wait. You're not look at the Hebrew Bible. This this is not in a in a Hebrew Bible. Okay, so this, let's pull up Genesis. Genesis, Gen Genesis one. This y'all heard him say Genesis one five. Genesis 1 5 says, and God called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day. What the fuck are we talking about right now? No, you, you, no. Sarnetta, Sarnetta, what you doing no, bringing no, this no. here, man? No, you, you are, how can you I say it? Genesis 1 5. Okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh -oh. put, let me put You said, you said no, Genesis. No, 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 I, I, I admit, I admit. That is not in Genesis 1 5. Right? <laughs> Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> let's, let's okay, I'm going to tell you something. Hold on, hold on. Time out for a second, Reggie. Time out for a second. Sarnetta. And Sarnetta will tell y'all this. I call Sarnetta called me like five something. And I told Sarnetta, I don't have time to do this. Am I, li am I right, Sarnetta? Am I right? No, that's that has nothing you, to do You're lying, with brother. You're lying. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on, hold on, Reggie. Hold on, Reggie. And I, listen, I'll go to nine oh five if this takes more than five minutes. Hey. Sanetta, you, you telling me I didn't call you and tell? Well, you didn't call me, and I said I don't know if I got time to make it. You're lying, brother. I ain't speak to you all day, all this week. <laughs> 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 nah, he's right. He's right, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. You spoke to me, brother. Yes, sir. All right. And I told Sarnetta, I, I might not have time, but I'm going to tell you something, Sir. Thank you for encouraging me to do this. Because <laughs> okay. I needed, I needed this oh, shit, yo. Man, the day that I had, the day that I had today, I needed this shit, yo. I needed oh. it. Okay, big no, up, big I don't, up, big I, up. This, this nigga said Genesis 1 no, and 5. No. Okay, so let, let me finish. So let me finish. So Mick Farr, because you don't read the Tanakh or the Torah is a I do fact. read the Tanakh and Torah. It so like, if, so like, so for example, for example, for example, when you say 
the Tanakh and no, Torah. No, no, no. Right? Let me finish. Let me continue. Let me continue because you're running down the time. 839, right? I only have a few more minutes, right? You are not telling the truth that the, the Israelites already had a ceremony called the Mixbah, right? Which John, which the Christians hijacked and called the baptism, right? But let me no, just No, uh, that's not, wait, wait, for the record, for the record, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. That's I why owe, I asked you. I owe the community. Wait, wait, I, community I don't have a problem with it, but if you make a statement. verse for the Tanakh. Reggie, if you make a statement, Reggie, if you make no, a statement, no. even if, what? listen, man. If no, you make a Captain, you're beating a dead horse. Let's come on. I'm not, I'm not beating a dead horse, but I just want to correct you on something. Even if, when you try to bring that up and say we don't read the Torah or Tanakh, in Genesis it was said in the Bible, in the Torah or Tanakh it would say better sheep. And Deuteronomy would be Debarium if I'm no, saying I the word. That. Just let, no, no, that. no, 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 let me finish. No, you're so that's it. So no, no, that's not my fault. It's not my that's fault, but I am, but I am going, you. but I am going to correct you. So when you pull up that Shabbat sixty-five or whatever, that Shabbat should have a translation that translates to a book that we can go to in the Bible. So if I say go to Better Sheep twelve and three, you can go to Better Sheep twelve and three in the Tanakh, or you can go to Genesis twelve and three, and they're going to say the same thing: one in Hebrew, one in English. So when you bring me to that Shabbat sixty-five, whatever that bullshit was, you should have been able to say that's Isaiah or that's Ezekiel, because the only books that go up to chapter sixty-five that high is, I believe, Isaiah. Isaiah is the biggest book, and in Hebrew, that's Yeshaya. So. If you're telling me that Isaiah is the Shabbat, we can go to that Shabbat 65. Maybe it got baptism in there. Now, if you talk about cleansing yourself in the Old Testament, it's not that hard to show, but it's not physical water. That's why I asked you, was you talking about spiritually or was you talking about literally? So, like, if I go to Jeremiah 2 and 22 okay. and so let me let me no nah, let let's, let's, let's go let's go let's go to the tonight let me let me show you no, 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 no. jeremiah 2 and 22 to kill your whole purification bullshit it says for though thou wash thee with nitri and take thee much soap so now he wants you to think it's some law of washing this just said though thee wash thee with nitri and take thee much soap Yet thine iniquity is marked before thee, because you can't get no spiritual washing with you water. Are, you are you are incorrect. When, when well, just show us in the Torah. Wait, wait, let me finish. When we do other shows, right? The and we're going to bring in um people who really read the Tanakh and uh the the um the Torah. You will find that this particular mikvah was already in process for uh for people call themselves hebrews and israelites before jesus christ it is necessary so all he did was perform that but i'm going to continue now exodus 23 20 to 3 you're familiar with that thou shalt yeah. uh, it's one of the commandments yeah i'm familiar with that thou shalt have no other gods before me correct that's correct. true that that is true 100 percent true Okay, so that's 100% sure. Okay, mm -hmm. so now, okay, so, um, but in John 14, Yasha, yeah, Yahasha, he goes, <laughs> Yahasha, Yahasha, <laughs> Jesus, okay, let me just say it like this. I can just say, say it Jesus, this is ready. Just Jesus. say Jesus, man. Just say Jesus. I'm going to say your Jesus, Isis. Your Greek version, Isis. Just say Jesus, Jesus, man. Stop trying. Stop trying John to be intelligent. 14. John, John 14, fourteen says, right? You um says, let not your heart be troubled. You believe what, what in verse God. You at? What verse you at? Also in me. What verse you at? I'm fourteen. Oh no, I was just trying to get there. John, no, you in? Are you in John? No, you in John chapter fourteen? John chapter fourteen, fourteen. Okay, it says, I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. John 14, 14 says, says uh, on, in the, on New King James Version. You're right. Uh, not, not, let not your heart be troubled. Does it start there? John, wait, John 14, verse 14. Let me make sure I got this right. Yes, it says, no, if he asks, John 14, it says, if he, 
No, sorry, you, sorry. John 14, let's go to, I think, 4. John 14, 4. I just, let me, I might have mistyped it. Okay, so that's right. it. John no 14. problem. It said, John 14 and 4 says, and whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Okay, so let's go here. So, John, so gotta, what you doing, man? What you John doing, 14, son? 14, John 14, number 14. <laughs> Verse 14. Let's start at 14. Let not your heart. You're trying to get away, Captain. You're running. You just got to get the verse right. Trouble. You believe in God, also believe in me. So in John 14, Jesus is saying, believe in me. If you believe and in you God. Said that's verse, you said that's verse 14? Yeah, John 4, John, no, John 14, 1. I mean, two, John 14, two. Wait, let me see. John 14. Okay, no, it's verse one. It's verse one. Verse one. Let, okay. So it says, not let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, also believe also in me. Right. Right. I'm using it. I'm, I'm reading from some other King James Version. No, that's Fact fine. Of the matter is, let me continue. Fact of the matter is, the commandments say, thou shalt not have no other gods before me in my face. Yeah. Right. But Jesus is now saying, you believe in God, believe also in me. Right. Why would he do that? Not next. Next six. Wait, says, wait. Let's answer no the question. Let me answer the father except through me. Wait, right. Six. Um, Fourteen six. No one comes to the father except through me. So all of the practicing Hebrews that practice the Torah and the Tanakh, he is telling them. And he's telling a small group of people, right? A small group of people. No one comes to the Father except through me. But the rest of the nation is not hearing what he's saying to this small group of people. Then he says, if you had known me, seven, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you know him and you have seen him. So Jesus is, Jesus is now God. Let me no. read it. Uh, let me read wait, it. Wait, um, you got, when, when do I when do I get to respond? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So let me read the rest of the verses. Uh, okay. 15, you still. You, you, you still. Me, okay. If you love me, now this is where he really flips you out. Right. If you really, if you love me, keep my commandments. So he is certainly God. Right. I'll stop. Right. You stopping right there? You done? Uh, except for nineteen, a little while longer. We're still waiting. Uh -huh. and the world will see me no more. Right. But you will see me because I live. You will live also. At that day, you will know that I am my father and you in me and I am you. So we're still waiting. So in, that verse, so in verse 20, he says, you shall know that I am in my father and ye in me. Mm -hmm. So he's saying we're all one, right? Not just not just him and the father. He's saying, I am in my father, ye in me, and I in you. So now all of us are one. We're one with the father. We're one with Christ. We're one with each other. That's what he just said. Mm -hmm. So how is he saying he God? Then we must be God, too. Because if we're in Christ, if we're in Christ, we're in the father. So we all must be God together. He says it in seven. He wait, said, wait. He says, don't, he said don't. if you had known me, you would have known my father also. Right, exactly. So now, that's not that hard to understand. So now, before we go to those verses, when you when you said, when verse one said, let your let not your heart be troubled, you believe in God, believe in me also. Let's see what the Old Testament says. In Isaiah 9 and 6, it says, for unto us a child is born. So this is a prophecy about a son being born. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. This is a title. This is not him being God, because when you have God and you have the Father, they're two different. God is a power. You go to Exodus 4 and 16, when the Lord is talking to Moses, he says, let me go to Exodus 4 and 16. So this is how I show you that the Old Testament and the New Testament flows right together. There is no contradiction. So Exodus 4 and 16 says, And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people, talking about Aaron, 
And he shall be, even he shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him instead of God. So now Moses is being referred to in the place of God. So when you try to, but Moses is not God and nobody in the Torah will say Moses is God. And Christ never said he was God. Matthew 19 and 17 clearly says, it says, he said unto them, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. Okay. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. So when we go back to John 14, he's not saying he's God. That's why he keeps referencing the Father. He said, when you read verse 2, in my Father's house. So it's not his house. It's his Father's house. He's just working for the Father. So if it belongs to the Father, it belongs to him. That's why in verse 20, he said, I in my Father, you in me, and I in you. We're all in one body. Well, since we can all read, and um, you're running down the clock, since we can all read, 14 says, you believe in God, also believe in me. He's putting He's himself supposed to. Him. Okay, okay, so my question to you, my question to you is, my, my, wait, 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 my, my, only, my question to you is, yes. if you believe in God, do you believe in Moses? Uh, if I, uh, no, uh, if I believe in God, that's two different things. That don't, that's, no, that's, no, no, that's, no. It's not two different. It's not. It's yeah. not. Listen. If you follow Torah, if you follow, if you follow no, Torah no, and Tanakh, in a way. So now, if you follow, if you follow Torah he and Tanakh, has, and you believe in God, you believe and follow Moses. It's called the law of like you were talking about when Christ said it's His commandments, but it's called the law of Moses. It is, but Moses. Okay, is but not it's so. So is it Moses' law? Okay. Is it Moses' law or God's? Wait, Moses, wait, wait. Moses, is it God's Moses' law? law? Is it's it God's law? But number seven. So why why you call it Moses' law then? Right. It's God. Why you call it Moses' law? Who's calling it Moses' law? The Bible calls it Moses' law. Yeah, it's God's law through Moses. So now, so, watch this. so if, if you believe in God, God so wait, 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 stay right, stay right there. You would have known my father also. That's correct. If you had From known on, you Moses, know him, wait, and wait before, him, before Christ, that's breaking the commandments. Stay right there. If you'd have known Moses, you'd have known the Most High too. Because you only know them, you only know the most high through Moses. Because when the Lord tried to speak to all the children of Israel in Exodus the 20th chapter, what did the people tell Moses? You go talk to God and we'll listen to you. Okay. So they believed everything that Moses said came directly from God. So if they believed in God, they believed in Moses. So now in the New Christ Testament, in Christ, in let me finish. In John 14. Let me finish. Passage in John 14. Let, let, you just got let, me, let me go on because I only got 10 minutes. Right? Let me this go is on. Horrible. Right? This Here's is another horrible. question. Has anyone has anyone seen um Yahweh? Um, has anyone seen Yahweh? Has physically on seen earth? Yahweh? Physically on earth? Yeah. No. Okay. Not physically on earth, but the angels in Christ, they have all seen the Father. Okay, wonderful. So I'm just showing you. I'm just showing you some problems about the things that you're leading to us. So um, um, King James Version, John 1, uh, 18 says, No man has seen God at any time. The only begotten son, which is the bosom of the father, he has declared him. So you're right in your Christian Bible, in your King James Bible. But the problem is, is if you said that you read the Torah, right? I know then, you're not about to go to Moses. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you know I was, so why'd you let me trap you? You're not trapping. You know, you think you're the first person that asked this retarded ass question, then, man? Then why you should have been ready for it because you just lied. I am ready for it. That's why I said, listen, I didn't even have to study for you, Reggie. I studied no. nothing. Okay, so let's read the verse. So Zen went up Moses, Aaron, uh, Nadab, and Abuhu, and 70 of the elders of Israel, and they saw the God of Israel. And they, were, and they were under his feet as it was paved work of sapphire stone, as if it was the body of heaven in its um, clearness. And upon the nobles. Of, so 74 people saw God. Give me, the, give, me the, take, give me the verse. Wait, wait, give me the verse again. The chapter and verse again. Yeah, I am. Thank you. Exodus 24. 
You said you said Exodus twenty four, right? Nine. Twenty four, no. Okay, no sweat. It's Exodus twenty four, no. In my, uh, excuse me. And it says, and they saw the God of Israel, and it was under his feet, as if it were a paid work of sapphire stone, and as if it was the bloody heaven of his clearness. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel had he laid not his hand, and also they saw God and did not eat or drink. So now, when you see this term God, you see how it says they saw under his feet? That's that's them seeing, you pair this with Revelations, the... I'm not pairing with anything. I'm just telling you right here. That I'm explaining people. Well, no, I'm I don't explaining. want to explain. I just want the people to see the text. But I also want to say... Okay, you okay, so okay but you can't ask these questions... Say it's a contradiction, and if you're comfortable with it being a contradiction, you shouldn't have an issue with me showing how it's not. But I asked you, you, I asked you, has anyone seen God? And you said no. They have not. And now you're trying to explain away the fact that 74 people saw God. I'm not explaining away. I'm just showing you the difference in context. Because you don't know Hebrew or you don't understand what this is talking about, when you go, you can go four verse, you can go four chapters above that. In Exodus, the 20th chapter, when the Lord, I just said, I just quoted it okay. when it says, and the people saw the thunder and the lightning and the noise and stood afar off and they didn't want the Lord to speak to them. It said in Exodus 20 and 19, it says, and they said unto the Moses, excuse me, unto Moses, speak thou with us and we were here, but let not God speak with us, lest we die. Okay. When I have 10 minutes. I have 10 more minutes. You have have five, more oh minutes. yeah. I did say 905. Right. So when, when yeah. Exodus 24 and 9, they're not seeing the most high like you see a man face to face. I don't you know, know about that. that. I just right. know about I just wanna, I just, all I want to do is just be able to, I know it hurts that you're getting cut with every point that no, you think. No, I'm not. Okay, then you shouldn't have a problem with me answering this question. No, because you're running away the time. I got two more questions. I, listen, I, I can't control the questions you ask. No, but you, you can control your answers. I, yes, I can. So and, if you didn't, point, and if you didn't you interrupt me. Nobody seen God. And then you knew. So now here's the, here, here's the difference. Here's the difference. Exodus 33 and 20. And he said, thou canst not see my face for there shall no man see me and live. This is in the Torah. So when it's talking about God, it's not talking about seeing him face to face. Oh, it's talking man. about seeing up under him. And when they see it and they looking above, that's how they see it. But they're not seeing him face to face. It says it right here in the same book, Exodus 33 and 20. Okay. No man shall so Exodus, Exodus 33, Exodus 33, 13. And the Lord spoke unto Moses face to face as a man right. speaks upon his face. As a what? As a what? As a man speaketh upon his friend. Do you have children, Reggie? That's not the point. And okay. the Lord, yes, Sarnetta, I Sarnetta, and do you have children? One second. Sarnetta, why can't I just listen? As a right. man speaketh unto his friend. No problem. Sarnetta, you got kids, right? Yes. You've Don't had regular conversations. I, I got this, two more this, this is very simple. This is very simple. You've had regular conversations with your sons, for example, right? Right. Have you ever had a man to man talk to him? Yeah, of course. That's a different kind of talk, right? Yes. That's 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 that I need to give you the real deal talk, right? Mm -hmm. That's the face to face he's talking about. When he spoke to Moses, he gave Moses everything face to face from Genesis all the way to Deuteronomy. That's what the face to face is talking about. That's why it says <laughs> as a man. Once again, that's why it says as a man speaks to a man. That's all you got to know. Okay. Otherwise, it wouldn't say in the very in the same chapter, it wouldn't say in verse 20, no man shall see my face and live. Y'all don't understand context. Okay. That's why well, I asked you. Go, now, I if, if, if what okay. I'm saying, if what I'm saying is not true, there would be no such thing as a man to man conversation. There okay. would be no such thing as that. That's All what right. this is talking about. OK, can That's we go on? Yes. I got two more questions. OK. All right. So, um. Here's a problem. This is a big problem. And I was listening to uh, a, a Jewish rabbi, right? And he says, and I want to know why uh, Hebrew or Israelites, even uh, even the ones that you don't think that you come from that tradition, but who can read the language and many of our people can't. 
he said this. He says, look at Isaiah 61. So let's look at Isaiah 61, uh, 1. Uh, let's see if I can bring it up a little bit more. Okay. Uh, but it says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Uh, you're reading it from, uh, so so read one again for me. You're uh, reading I, it from, huh? I'm reading it from the KJV, Isaiah 61. Oh, Isaiah you're reading it from the KJV. Okay, right. Great. Okay. So, you want me to read it again? Yeah, yeah. I want to, so, so did he say recovery of the blind? No, it's uh, sent me. I'm going to read it. Uh, this is Isaiah 61 and 1. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Okay, the prisons that are bound. Okay, so now, okay, so... Um, my, 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 my verse is a little bit different, but that, ha that happens. Right. So mm -hmm. I want to go to, I think I want to go to, uh, I want to go to, thank you. So now I want to go to Luke. I want to go to Luke four. Right. Okay. And this is one of my uh, last questions. Right. Okay. No problem. Uh, I think it's link uh, Luke four. Okay. So on Luke four, it says that, um, in Luke 4, if I can bring it up, it basically says that he, so Luke 4, basically he's, he's, uh, he's reading from the scrolls and he's, he's performing something. Luke 4 and what? What verse you at in Luke? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm finding it. Luke 4, oh, okay. give me a second. Luke 4. And he is reading, Jesus Christ is reading himself from the scrolls. So okay. Okay, so he reads, he reads um, on number 18, he reads, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anointed me to preach the gospel. This is what Jesus is talking. He's talking, right, uh, to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, to set all liberty them that are bruised so where's he reading from where's he reading Where, where's jesus reading from where's your howard shaw reading from oh, i muted my mic by mistake i said he's reading from isaiah oh he's reading from isaiah so then right. isaiah okay so he's reading from isaiah so let's just go back but then when you read isaiah where does it say sight to the blind? Where, where does it say sight to the blind? Okay, no problem. In, so in, in, Hebrew, in Hebrew, it says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to, to bring good tidings into humble. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the eyes to them that are bound. So he doesn't say sight to the blind. He says eyes to them that are bound. So right. the problem with this is, Captain Zazariah, your Jesus Christ is actually reading, your Jesus Christ is actually reading the Septuagint. He's, he's not, not reading, reading the Septuagint. his own Torah, his own God's work. He's not reading, he's, he's not. actually reading the Septuagint. I'll go, I'll listen. Thank you, I appreciate it. When you say recovering of the sight to the blind, he doesn't have to say it verbatim. It's the same exact thing. When it says, um, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, proclaim the liberty of the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. It is. It does. He doesn't have to say it verbatim. It, but it's the same exact thing. There is. There is no difference. He's still the one that sent. I don't know where you're trying to say it's a contradiction because that's literally the same exact thing. No, that it's he's not. Doing. It's yes, it is. Really not because he's talking about bound prisoners, releasing bound prisoners, right? Mm -hmm. And and you and and you are reading it as a, a miracle. You would right? have to show. You would have to show where he's reading that from a Septuagint. He's not reading that from a Septuagint. Oh yes, I, okay. So let me um, okay. so now, because because the problem with that the problem with saying that he's reading that from the Septuagint 
is the Septuagint is not the Septuagint. The earliest Septuagint that they got that they say is the Septuagint is in third century AD. You're correct. So even, right. You're, so you're, even the, I know I'm correct. I know I'm correct. So the Septuagint is bullshit. You are correct. And so and so what Jesus read in the um, with the so scroll, you can't sub, wait, wait. So no, it's not. Because the translation of these texts predates the translation of the Septuagint. So now the Septuagint is not the Septuagint. I wish people would stop following and saying that we follow the Septuagint. That's bullshit. You don't follow a Septuagint. They don't even know what that that what that that's what's contained in today's Septuagint is what was in the Septuagint of that time. So your statement is false. No. See, any 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 history that you try to back up and say that he got this from the Septuagint is only okay, going to come from third century. Can, it's only going to come from 300 AD. That's where it's going to come from. That when we say third century AD, 300 years after Christ died is what you're trying to say Christ spoke from, but, but there is no valid say, there is no validation of the Septuagint before then. It's only what they think was what, in the Septuagint. What I am trying to say to you, which you do not, you ain't think I knew that. Give weight, right? You ain't think I, you ain't think I knew that. Hey, Sinetta, he ain't think I knew that the Septuagint no, was no, translated no, in third century. No, no, you but do now, know. I, I expect you to know that because the fact of the matter is, you misinterpreted. If you no, if you the no, Torah, no, your whole your you, whole basis now is nine oh five. So we got to wait. Stop, stop. You it's nine oh five. It's 905. So what we will do is get Okay, so this is what you did. Captain, and you're right. It's not I beat the shit out of you. Hey, hey Sinetta, I beat the shit out of him on a freestyle. Thank you, Sinetta, for this. I needed some blood no, on the floor. When, when don't ever back, bring listen, don't ever bring Reggie to me again. Reggie, Reggie, just Captain. listen, what you are, what you are, <laughs> Reggie. Reggie, you're an excellent researcher. I will probably Captain. put you above a lot of people. You can give debaters information. But you yourself captain. are just not a debater, brother. Captain, you're not. You are. You said. Not a you debate, said. Captain. We, all right, but we're closing out because I'm, I'm about to go. I'm about no, to go. You can go. This but brother, wait, this wait, brother, don't said Genesis one and. Hey, don't. Hey, I'm gonna make a clip out of that Genesis one and five side when he said that was talking no, about spiritual cleansing. We have some. <laughs> hey, if I could go, can I promote my? All right, hold on, hold on, Captain. Hold on, Reggie. Hold on, Captain. Hold on, Reggie. All right, I got to go. I got to be fair, like Captain is always fair. Uh, Reggie, I would say that um, Captain beat you in this um, going back and forth only because you wasn't precise. You didn't really nail it, nail, nail it in the coffin. I know you're great, but you could have did a lot better. And I would have to say Captain escaped this round right here. He escaped you. Um I hope you still love me, Reggie. I hope you do, brother. Oh, you did that too. But I just got to be fair. I think Captain answered <laughs> every question. I think he answered every question in this. And um, I just wish he could stay for a half an hour so we could get some questions. No, God, and listen, answers. Si, so I tell you what, sir. I got a council I got to jump on. If y'all still run up after that council, I'll come back in. Okay, Cap. Peace. But I do got a counter. But before I go, if I could, real fast. No, no, let me talk. Before I just want to promote he my gotta go. He got to go, Reggie. Let him, let him, because he got to yeah, go. I just want to promote. I ain't going to say nothing hey, else Judah about you, Judah Hit the link, Judah. It's you next. Hit the link, Hit the link Judah, so we can continue. <laughs> so yeah, I appreciate it. Listen, Reggie, I appreciate it. Um, the only advice I would give, you prepare for me. And if this is your preparation, just do a better job. But for yeah. those... For no, those see, that support game. my business, you brother, you can talk after I leave. You're going to talk and then get off. Captain. No, I just want to talk about my business, Captain, man. Reggie, Stop. Hey, hey, Reggie, you got to let him close business, out because he got to leave. Reggie, that's well, all. Let me close out with him. No, no. Okay, but let me close out. Let me say my business, then you can go. All right? So now, what I, what I would just like to say, um, I got a 25% off sale to offer all my products. If you go to whether you go to my Etsy, if you go on my Etsy page, I'm at 19,000 sales. I'm going into my third year. I'm almost at 20,000 sales since I started this business. That's just on Etsy. And then also on my website, I have sales. Right now, I have a 25% sale on all my products. So if you want to check them out, I'm in the lab right now to show you the support I get. Once again, all of this that you see right here is getting shipped out.
everything you see right here, I'm chipping out. So these are my oils. These are my butters. I told you I was switch switching to the glass jar. So with that sound, when I get finished with this council, if y'all still live, I'll be back on, all right? All right, bet. Beautiful. All right, but I, hey, Reggie, I will listen to some of your clothes out before I leave. <laughs> 